Okay, so we're gonna ask me at three, two, one. Peace of the gang, peace of the gang. It's your boy on, BP. Yeah. Today, we are with my bro, big homie, primetime trainer, <laughs> the man, yeah. Bishop Bang All Bang right. Right. Fitness. I feel naked today, man. Why I got, you feel I naked? got my wedding ring on, man. Oh, shit. I feel oh, naked. Oh, we gonna ride out. We gonna still we ride out. We gonna ride out, yeah. She knows yeah. love. Yeah. <laughs> <She> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm missing something. <laughs> right. <laughs> Am I incomplete? <laughs> Yeah. Without you, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? What's going on, man? So, we wanted to do an interview with you today. Okay. Talk to you, get a little bit of insight All about right. Bang Bang Fitness right. LLC. Appreciate this, man. And my big bro, Brent, because yeah. I think, you know, I think you have a great, you have a great platform. You have a great thing going on with this fitness. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I supported it long before I was into it. Right, yeah. And yeah, just yeah, from yeah. a long, I'm like, damn, yeah. bro, it's killing Lord, it right now. Yeah, right, yeah, I'm yeah, like, oh, he's yeah, killing yeah. it. You know what I mean? It was great to see. And I'll stay on you. Like, where you getting right, in? Right, right. <laughs> All the time. So it was like, dang, like, yeah. at some point, I knew I had yeah, to get in here. Yeah, yeah. And, you and, get in here? And you, and you uh -huh. made it, and you say, look, get in here and stop yeah, playing. Yeah, and cool. ever since, like, been a life changing money, thing. I appreciate you too. And man. I, I appreciate you too. I, I think the it's hard work that comes from you. Listen, I think it's so, I think it's so dope, so motivational, yeah. so inspirational. Just you, you gain so much from it that I didn't know that you gained before. Right, right. And it was like now that I got that wow. experience, it's like, bro, you want to feel good. Yeah, and yeah. I know it, when yeah. you talk that's about feeling good, yeah. right? Yeah, when you talk about part, feeling man. good and how how you yeah. how it makes you how yeah. it gives you that. That's Everything, yeah, that yeah, energy. Yeah. I'm like, you know, yeah. while you working out, you may yeah. not feel no, that it's energy. Right, but it's going to come later. But yeah, later on that day, you be like, yeah, oh, it's worth it, oh you be ready to party. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, worth it. so worth it. let's get into a couple questions right. here. So, what is Bang Bang Fitness? Bang Bang Fitness um, is what it is. First, Bang Bang. You know, you know um, it started... Uh, in the gym, I used to always say that the sound of the weights clinging and just the the whole momentum. It used to be like we just gonna get in here and get it done and get out like mm -hmm. bang bang. Um, and it was funny. It was just a little song used to come on the radio when we was in Goals. You know what I mean? And I used to always be in there bang bang. And then my um I, my trainer at the time, Terry Martin, used to always be like, uh oh, here come bang bang. And that's how I started a little bit. So, you know what I mean? Then I was just like, oh, I like that. Right. You know what I mean? Bang, bang, fitness. You know what I mean? Because I used to have, we've been to the bar and little different things I used to play around. But I was like, yeah, this fit me. I like this. Right. You know what I mean? And it was like every time I went in there, it was this song on. I don't know if it was by Ariana Grande or something. And her and somebody else, whatever. But mm -hmm. it used to come on the radio when they played the videos. And that's how that started, man. So what it stands for, man, now is like uh, pray, um, believe, succeed. I mean, grind and succeed um, because it all goes into one. Like, it's a total body, like mind. If your mind's not lined up with your body, it won't work. Mm -hmm. but when your mind is lined up and your body's lined up, your life is going to line up. It, like, all goes together. So, and that's the, that's the total thing with me, man. It's, it's more of not so much the physical, but, like, the mental aspect and just how you perceive yourself and how you're approached to life. You know what I mean? I feel that that's important. Um in this journey and just like taking care of yourself. And it's, it's better for me now because I'm getting older. Like mm -hmm. I don't feel as old as I am, but sometimes time lets me know right. you old, you know what I mean? But not <laughs> old, but I'm up there. So I can right. just imagine like the people and I take care of myself. I, I eat well, I eat real good. Like I'm not the strictest person. I do eat candy. I like right. stuff, you right. know what I mean? But I eat better than I do bad. So, um, and, I, I, and I, I never have an excuse, and it's always to the max every time I'm in here. And that's the same approach I want for my clients. So I try to bring that energy all the time because I don't dread coming in here. Right, right. And I don't want people that dread coming. You see what I'm saying? Because I can't man. let you kill what I believe in. Right. So if you don't believe in yourself, we, it won't work. You, you see what I'm saying? So Absolutely. That's, the, that's the whole thing with me and Bang Bang Fitness. So you said something about like what you expect of your clients. Like, what is the expectation that you have of clients when they sign up and when they first come to you asking to be a part of what you have going on? I, I truly, and, and I, no, don't take this wrong, I don't look at it as people lie to me. My first thing is, do you believe in yourself? Mm -hmm. um, you have to believe in yourself first and foremost. And I feel when you believe in yourself for something you're doing for yourself that is better, that's going to better you, and it, it carries out in the world, man. So that's my thing. If you believe in yourself and you believe in your capabilities and what you're trying to do, not so much um, 
Now, don't get me wrong. I get on people if they don't, if I'm not seeing progress. It don't got to be something where weight shredded and I got to post right. um, before and afters and make people think that this is the process of getting you down because that's not the important part to right. me. Um, the better you are, that's the important part to me. Um, the looks come later. Do you feel good? Is your approach to life better? Are you mm -hmm. eating better? Is your mental health better? That is the thing um, to me before the weight comes off and you look. Because when that comes, you're going to be even greater. You're right. going to be grateful. You see what I'm saying? That you didn't skip that hard work, getting your mind adjusted, coming in wanting to do it. So I look at um, my evaluations on clients is... Are you willing to do it? Or do you believe in yourself? Like, are you going to get up and go to work for you like you get up and go to work for that 9 to 5? Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you might drag going, but guess what door you walking through? You walking through that employer door, ain't you? So I'm going to need you to walk through the door for you. And that's how I look at it when I find clients that are like that. Like, man, y'all guys, I enjoy y'all guys. Like, that is the highlight of my, like, my week seeing right. y'all and coming in here laughing and the discussions we have of growth. That is the major part. And it's like that with each separate person. So I, um, I'm thankful that I'm in a position to be better myself and approach, you know, the day like that and have that energy. I'm, I'm ready to go every day, man. I'm good. Listen, like, you know, uh, you know, I'll be ready. So I'll be listen. looking, trying to get that, get that motivation in my clients just to be ready. You know, so I'll be ready. And if y'all don't follow his Instagram, he is definitely yeah, ready. When yeah. you wake up in the morning, listen, Yo, it's crazy. I'll be waking up and there'll be yeah. 10 workout yeah, videos yeah. on the joint. And I'll be like, listen. damn, it's 6 o'clock. Yeah, Where so was crazy. I at? Yeah, it's so crazy because like people got different goals. Like I see people's engagement goals be for like to have 10,000 followers. Mine is to have like 5,000 videos Word. that all belong to me. Because then that way, my validation and my credit ain't due to nobody else. It's Absolutely. due to me getting up, working out, Ryan. posting the videos, and doing what I yeah. do. So, like, if the bar is set on me, I'm not looking for no one to validate me or validate my status. So, you know what I mean? I Man, listen, I can have four or five people. I'm going to still have that many videos. Look. I'm going to still be on there even if nobody like it because... I'm doing something that does it for me, and that's the beneficial part. I just show the world. However the world responds is not my concern. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, How did you get into training? Um, uh, that's a funny story. Uh, it started, all right, how it really started it was funny. I was, uh, I was away, and I used to work out, doing the deck of cars, and you know, doing bench, and I used to be in there. I'm talking about faithfully. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about every time it was, I was out faithfully. I was doing what I needed to do. So I, that little carried over. So I was like, when I was in there, my my, my cousin used to call me Bun Ripple. I was freaked in. There. So I came out, and I was, we was doing music, um, and I was sitting in front of the computer, uh -huh. and I was just sitting there looking at myself, and compared to where I was and where I, I was like, nah, I gotta do something. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, you know how you know about music. Yep. So, while you waiting for stuff to dump, and it sometimes it takes long to do, yeah. and it's going through its little process. And back then, but you burn those the CDs, computers yeah, were, you know, the computers were slow. Man. So, we was sliding in this and doing all that. <laughs> so, I get down and do push ups. Then, as you know, I started seeing I got back in that groove. So, then I was like, man, I'm about to start working out. And I'll go to the playground, um, work out. My dad had some of the stuff in his basement. So, I'll go down there. And I was like, you know, I was like, man, I'm about to be the bodybuilder. Right. You know what I mean? I was buying magazines. And like me, I always go all out for stuff, man. I start buying stuff, buying little equipment, magazines, reading books, uh, taking supplements, spending money on stuff that didn't work, trial and error. Right, you know right. what I mean? But I was dedicated. Like when everybody was, I still was in the streets a little bit. So while everybody was going to do, I'm like, I'm going to the gym. Right. Like, I'll go to the gym after the club. Like, I'll be in the club, wouldn't even drink. Because where are you going after this? Too far? Now I'm going to play in fitness. It's 24 hours a day now. Yeah, so that's yeah. how that started. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to get a job at a gym. I got a job at a gym. And I'll come in there. People will see me. And they'll be like, I, I got a job as the janitor. Came in as the janitor. Right. You know what I mean? I ain't had a certification, all that stuff. People I'll come in as the janitor. I came in as the janitor, do my thing, work out. People will see me. Okay. And they see me all the time. Oh, hey, how you do? Or I see people, hey, you doing that? And it's like, okay. So then 
I got a couple people like, can you train me? Can you show me? And that's how that started, man. And I was seeing the results. Mm -hmm. And then, like, people started coming to work out with me. Next thing you know, I look up. I got four or five guys. Right, right. It's four or five of us. And they go on to the beat of my drum. So that's how that started, man. And they would show up every time. You know what I mean? Shout out to, like, Josh, B Major. They would show up. You know what I mean? And and that's how my cousin Fleet, we, we'd be in there and, like, I started at, helping Miss Jackie. Then next you know, people started, hey, can you help me? And then it was a wrap from there. I uh, had my gym on Briggs in a little basement. We called it the basement. Dust. Mm -hmm. It was a little dusty in there, but people were showing you up. You get work. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, it, so it started back then. I was training with my guys in the hood. You know what I mean? It was pro bono. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> it was pro bono. You know what I mean? Right. Training them in the hood. You know what I mean? And it, I just was dedicated, man. I put the weight vest on. Then I wanted to play uh, semi-pro football. Was trying out for when the Stampedes first came here. Right. I trained so hard for that. Didn't work out, but the dedication that I put to that was phenomenal, man. And I was like, yo, this is who I am. So I always kept that energy when it came to fitness, when it came to, I mean, I would get up five in the morning. It didn't matter what time, man. I would be there. I'd be outside in the parking lot waiting for the gym to open when I was LA Fit and it was still closed. Like, because that's how I wanted to be. Get in, get it over with, get it done. And it just carried over. Yeah, so you said you said like you wanted to be. You said, I'm gonna be a bodybuilder. Like when you said that, did you just immediately feel like yo, I'm going be, I'm going to be a bodybuilder. Yeah, no ifs ands buts about. I felt it. um, it was real crazy because I was like 130 pounds. So I am one person. If I set my mind on something, I have to see it through. Mm -hmm. And I was skinny. I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna get to 150. I was like 130. And I'm talking about muscle, so I'm sitting there eating the craziest stuff, working out, and my metabolism is not budging. I'm I'm still running rampant. Um, but I just was like, I'm, I can do this. I get up, man, it was so bad. I would get up in the morning, like 1 to, one to 2 o'clock in the morning, get out of my bed, get down and do push-ups. Mm -hmm. That was my desire, man. Like, I just wanted to have that build that looked like the magazines. Um, and, oh, poor little legs. <laughs> little tank tank man my legs was just still poor little tank tank I, right. it, it was crazy so I'm, I'm curling doing all this stuff and I wasn't doing legs man I, uh, I would do a little bit but it was the bare minimum I remember this girl was like look at his legs his legs look better than yours oh man you could tell he worked legs bro I didn't take that personal but I did it one. gave you five. Yeah, like, you yeah. know what I mean? Dude, yeah, he had nice legs. And even though his upper body didn't match mine, because of all the time I spent doing upper body, right. he did have nice legs, you know what I mean? So you try to mirror people a little bit when they got something you want and try to learn or see. Absolutely. Oh, that's what the smart people do. That's you know what I mean? Do. Yeah, and, and see what it is that he does. So at Planet Fitness, you really couldn't get that, um, that spark. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, I need to switch gyms. And I switched gyms, started going to Golds, working at Giants with a couple guys, they was going to Golds. So I go in Golds, I see now, okay, this is real life. This is my first time in Golds. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, yeah, they in here banging. That's where the now, animals is at. Where they in here. Okay, that's where they in here. So I'm looking around, and I see a guy back in the corner, uh, Terry Martin. Brothers back to training lanes with the band. Some of the stuff we be doing. Right. Most majority, like, I seen him, I'm watching him, watching him for like two days. And I'm like, you know what, I go over to approach him, like, hey, you in the NFL? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, you in the NFL? He was like, nah, I ain't in no NFL. It was like, uh, you uh, play for a team or something? You know what I mean? Right. And, and, and then I was just like, he was like, nah, nah, why you ask me that? I was like, because, bro, your legs, like, he had on sweats, but you could see his quads through the God sweats. Please. And he just was in there with the vessel and in the hood. And I was just like, yo, I need parts of that. You know what I mean? And he was like, um, this is fun. This is this is one of the best highlights of my story of meeting him. Um, so I started working out with him. Bro, oh. bro I promise you. I promise you, that, Is that work? Bro. It was something like I never experienced in my life. It was so bad. I made it through. Um, I was broken. Um, I, I, I think I couldn't even squat 225. He put me under 315. I got like one, two. Bro, but I promise you, it was so crazy. 
Like he didn't let up, even I'm talking about, bro, I, I had attitudes. Like it was, it was, it was so crazy. I had left, went to get out my car to go in the house, and my legs locked up. I oh. fell in the middle of the street. I couldn't even get in. Like the leg, my legs were so swole. It was something that they never experienced. It was so bad. Like my wife, it was, it was bad, man. It was bad for me. Um, I was just like, damn, I, I can't do this. Right. And um. We was rubbing, I'm talking about in the middle of the night, my legs was Just like, it was the up. worst of my legs. That was oh. the first time I ever did legs to that capacity, um, or period, basically. The next day, I was like, okay, I can't miss the gym because that's my, my psyche. Right. So I stumble in the gym. He said, oh, you back? Mm. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was funny because we did upper body. I could hang with a little bit, you know what I mean? It wasn't nothing too crazy. So then he was like, you know, take a uh, rest day. So I still went to the gym. He was in there. He was like, I thought you were supposed to rest. I'm right. like, I'm here. I'm just going to take a rest. Like, you going to be ready for tomorrow? I'm like, yeah. So I'm, I'm like, yeah. I'm leaving. This old man said, he done trained everybody in this gym almost. And everybody quit. You're the only person that came back the third day. This oh. old man told me this. Yep. So then I was like, okay. You so he was man. known for the one yeah, that quitters. He, 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 he would get them in. And send them out there, them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how you know. What I mean, so I adapted that philosophy, and it's not so much to hurt people or nothing like that. Especially, man, can you hang? Can you handle mm -hmm. when I'm gonna give you? You see what I'm saying? And I commend because y'all handle it like y'all. You know what I mean? I think I feel like it's also how hard can you push yourself? Yeah. Because yeah. it's not like you were like, come on, come on. Yeah. It's it's not a rowdy thing. It's we having a good time. We getting our work in. We having great conversations, and it's like, well. You still owe 160 yeah. push ups, and it's like, come on, bro. Yeah, but yeah. it's push yourself, and, yeah. and that's what yeah. I think everybody appreciates about yeah, this I, experience. I appreciate it because that's what I got from him, man. Even when even when I um, wanted to, to quit, and I just kept going, man, and it just it didn't get easier. I got better. You mm. know what I mean? So that's, that, that's cold. You know what I mean? It so didn't that, get easier. I got so better. That, so that was a part of that. But um, I, I I kept coming back, man, and I got better. And we we established a relationship, man. And my leg game just went, it just grew, man. I was, you know, I was under three fifteen. I was uh, squatting and lunging with weights. I hated lunges, and I love them now. I hated lunges. You be killing them lunges. I hated lunges. You couldn't, you couldn't tell me you I hated love, them during I, the day. I hated them with a passion, and now I love them to this day. Like I feel that that's the overall best workout for me. Word. So. Is it is it men, women, or who, who can who can all train with, with, uh, with Bang Bang? Fingers? Everybody. Um, I got a little bit of everyone. I have older folks. I got some people I call them silver sneakers. They don't like that. And that's silver not, sneakers. Just, yeah. <laughs> and it don't even be that they it just be the movement of how we gotta approach the workouts. And then I have um you know, I have a little bit of I have very from seventy down to uh, I'm gonna say, oh yeah, I was a young yeah, boy. Dude, yeah, yeah, fourteen. Yep, yeah, yep. so I'm about 14. to say fourteen to seventy or seventy to fourteen, however you want to look at. So I have a wide range of people, man, men and women. I like the versatile. Um, I don't wanna, I don't cater to no side. I cater to people. You know what I mean? I no, no, no offense to anybody that caters to a certain demographic or a certain type of woman or anything or or pe or mm -hmm. you know, male or female. That's that's the clause that you put yourself in. Um, I feel you can train anybody. Anybody can train anybody. People go to people because of how hard in the will it is for them. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like so, it don't matter. Like it don't matter because I recognize women in the gym that went hard. Like and then, you know it, it used to be so. Uh, one of them. The gym became a place of. Not, not dating or nothing like that, you don't want to so say. But there would have been women that I would have said, oh, yo, I can train legs with her because right. women train legs. Well, in there, you see women and they're killing legs. So you like, where I was starting at, like, you, I would work out with her. If she would have been like, yo, I would have been like, yo, I need parts of that to get in there. Somebody, you know, so I feel men and women, um, I treat everybody equally. I just, I feel that the workouts are designed for everyone. Some things is different, and there's certain levels of it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, that you go, like, I'll turn up with y'all, and then I might have certain females that I can turn up, because I got some women that go. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about they go. They come here and they go. So it's like, um, 
it's a difference, man. You know, I have learned to dull down for certain people depending on the point of what we're really here for because I don't want to miss what God has them here for. Right. It might not be so much of the workout. It might not be so much. So I definitely got to stay in tune. I feel all trainers should be in tune with themselves um, mentally, spiritually to be able to help that person because you're feeding their body and their mind is open. It, it, it says that your mind is your mind is in a state of receiving when you're working out. Mm -hmm. um, so you're thinking about things. You're receiving like it's hard to be too much upset because serotonin, something stuff is right. going off in your mind and certain things is going off. So while that mind is open and you feeling good, that's when you try to put in different things. Man, thoughts, you know what I mean? yeah. yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? And, and, and speak to people's strong suit and let that carry over and what you best at and focus on that. Like if somebody was good at a certain thing and that's what they love, if you can handle it in the recovery and that's what we got to do until you get to the point where you're ready to move on to something else, that's what we do every day. Right, right. You know what I mean? I have no problem with that. Because if, if it's okay with you, it's okay with me. If somebody say, hey, I, I'm going to be in cruise control. Now, part of me like, we ain't doing enough. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, but... That's how they want to be. So right. I learned to step back. Cause right. I, I didn't used to step back. Like I feel like you're giving up on yourself. But I feel like I tread water with people. I tread water with you. You pay me. I right, right, right. You. right, right, you know right. What I, mean? sure. I tread water with you. You know what I mean? And I'll slide things in there every now and then to challenge you, man. But yeah, that's it, man. That's that's why I do it. The men and women, the love of people. It don't matter who it is, man. Uh, that's how I am. So what kind of what can a client expect? Like when they come in and like, yo, we about to get it in. Like you like, are you just going to jump right on their head off the rip? Like I know my first session was like, it was all timed. And he was like, do this for a minute. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, yeah. And he was like a minute and a half, yeah, two minutes. Yeah. And it was like. You came in, you came in on the flow of a, uh, yeah. of a week. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, you got thrown in the fire, but I, I you handled that well. Um, Appreciate I, um, it. I used to be a hundred percent, um, at the top of the peak, man. Um, my wife got on me one day. She said, you can't start everybody at the top of the peak. Mm -hmm. and I was like, uh. <laughs> And so um, I had to start. Now I just lay out the fundamentals. And now I have became so far in the game to where I explain everything. I give you a whole rundown of workouts that we're doing and what it explains and how this is connected to this and this is why I do this following this and this is why you'll feel this and this is how you'll see mm -hmm. this or you know what I mean so I have started to educate more starting out you know what I mean before you like release them it's like not right. saying like people are children but it's like your kid you teach them and then you open them to the world so you prepare them this is what we're doing this is a little bit this is what this feel like and then I say psych this is what we doing. <laughs> and then the next day you come and I'm gonna bust you in your head. <laughs> but you're gonna feel yeah, better. It's gonna be good. You're gonna, gonna feel be good better. For you. I just like this now I, it's better for me because I get to gauge where people was at. I used to didn't gauge. I used to just come in here and chop them off, chop them down. And they'd be like, I ain't coming back in here. <laughs> but I learned now I, I ease them in. You know what I mean? I lure them in with them, they feel good. They'd be like, Oh, I finished that. I'm a cop. Yeah, I got that. Come back in. Because you come back in the next time confident because That's you finish strong. So now I can give you a little bit because now you're going to be confident that you can finish again. And then it just carries over and carries over and carries over. That and is becomes, super you know, true. When you when you complete a workout here and you leave, you're like, you're, you're beat. You, yeah. you, done, you done did some work. Yeah. But it, it give, definitely gives you that confidence that, like, yo, I'm going to come back next time and go even harder. You know what I mean? And... Whether that happens or not is totally up to the person, but yeah. you definitely leave with a, a different spirit than what right. you came in with. Right. You can't. We come in early, so it's like if you come in at eight or seven, yeah. six, seven, eight, yeah. and it's like you tired and you like, man, bro, yeah, it's you know, like as yeah. soon as he hits you with the first exercise, yeah. you wake up. Yeah, you, you wake, wake up, up on right. the first set, like okay, it's time to get busy yeah, now. It's time to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what, what, what do you see the future um, as the future for? Bang Bang Fitness. Where do I see the future? Um, 
first I wanted to say, since we have time, um, before I, I had, I, I had, for my future, and even for now, I had to learn, in order for my future to be okay with the now, um, I appreciate that my clients feel this is enough. Because sometimes I feel that this is not enough. And that starts to like not damper me, but it just makes me feel like I'm so much more and I know it, but I have to, and I'm, and I'm grateful. I don't never want to show that I'm not grateful for what I have now mm -hmm. because it's doing what it does. But man, my future, man, I, I just want to own two gems. I don't want it, um, I don't want a friend, I don't want it being, I mean, I let it be whatever it is. Uh, I'm not going to put no cap on that. Right. Um, but I like the intimate, I like the, I went to a gym in Jacksonville that was the model of what I want. It was a black lady, her and her husband. Mm -hmm. um, it had all the equipment, it had a little area, and that was it. And it was personal training, but it was, you could sign up and use their facility. You could pay cash and come in and use it that day. It was that big enough, it was big enough. Um, yeah, man, I, you know, it don't have to be like Planet Fitness, but it can be a nice studio and I can call it home and open up two of them, man. And I got y'all guys trained my own trainers the, uh, under my philosophy and my style of working out. Ooh, my certified. Mindset. So I look at it like, yeah, it comes with the whole thing, not just knowing the workouts, not knowing, but it being you. Is this lifestyle of living healthy and treating yourself right and taking care of your body, is it you? Um, and if it's you and you understand that and that's, that's how it is, man. Like you be able to help the next person because you truly believe in yourself and what it is that you're doing. So, yeah, that's it. I want to have my two gyms and my trainers that trained under me, and we just help people be healthy and take care of themselves, man, and live better lives. I feel that the more people, the better you take care of yourself, man. The better it is for you when you get out there. The better energy, the excitement that you give to what you're doing. Man, when you're excited about stuff, man, exciting things happen right. for you. You gotta Everything be excited. Changes. You and it can't be. It has to be. It has to become natural. Mm -hmm. I am excited to be alive. I'm excited to be here. Like it, it's it's like that, man. It, it, I always think I lost two. I lost a lot of people, but two this dear to me. And I was like, I know they would want to be here. Who am I not to capitalize right. on being here? And taking care of myself, man, and just going hard, doing what I love, man. Plus, you get to do everything better, man. Sex is better. You know what I mean? Everything's better. You able Speak to, run to that. Speak to you it. Talk about it. You, have, you, ever, you able to run around, man. You have energy. Listen, man, and your sex game. Listen, it, listen. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> but it's just terrible if you just later and expect that that's all that right. comes with something that is one of the greatest gifts in the world and you're not able to... Participate in it fully, right. like you know, I mean, nobody wants that. Nobody wants because I look at it, lazy people. You you carry that over. It's 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 everywhere. You're lazy you and everything. Yeah, right? you're lazy yeah. and everything. You can't sell me nothing different. Yeah. Like um, it's the absolute so, truth. Yeah, though. so I just look at it like you know, what I mean, you just gotta love your life, man, and, and take care of yourself and just go full stride at it. You know what I mean? And that's what I that's what I hear. I got. I got people that got great jobs, careers, entrepreneurs, you know, people that's head of HR, people that's, oh, I got great people, you know what I mean? And I don't, I didn't have to search or beg or pander for these people, like, you know what I mean? I just do what I believe in and, I, and that love seeps from me. I truly believe you don't have to sell no one nothing if they believe in what you, what you have, right. you know what I mean? So I look at it, I'm, I'm thankful. I remember when, um, I'll tell you a little story, I'll tell it, it doesn't matter. I remember I had, uh, was work training people mm -hmm. and my clients dropped off and like this was something I truly relied on because at the time I didn't, it's first starting out, I didn't have as many clients and they cut my lights off. Mm. Yeah, bro, they cut my lights mm. off. Like I didn't get to take care of like the bills and certain things was of my handling and it just got real heavy where I lost like, I only had at the time five clients and four of them quit. And same the time? One, all around the same time. Mm. The last
last client was my stepmom, and I knew she was sticking around because I'm not saying she felt sorry, but like, you know, it it, it was like that. Mm -hmm. And you know, I went I went and went to work, did what I had to do, but my lights ain't stay off. But I'm just saying that in this retrospect, everybody quit, and it was just me. So. You know what I did? I still came in here and worked out, man. I still posted my videos. Right. I still kept doing my thing consistently. I don't think I picked up nobody for like three weeks. But then people seeing my videos, like, oh, wait, hold on, bro. Can I, can I come through? Next thing you know, so I took a couple dudes from the hood. and started right. bringing them. Next thing you know, I, I still stayed the course, regardless of when nobody was coming. Because this is what I love to do. This is what I do. So next thing you know, it started picking up. Then I have to, you know, I could put out there, oh, I'm looking for clients. Blah, blah. I, had, I stopped needing to do that because right. me being consistent to what I love, it came right back around. So that little hard time was the time to say, hey, oh, you can quit training and just go back to work. Nah, I kept doing what I was doing, kept my head down, went in the gym, seeing a couple people. They was like, hey, you work out, why don't you train me? And they paid me in the gym. Like, so it started picking up from the gym and I brought them from the gym to here, you know what I mean? And it just started picking back up. Then next thing you know, as it started, I started getting different people. The demographic of my people changed from my hood, my hood <laughs> flowing, you know what I mean, to started getting real solid people, man. And and just the whole atmosphere in here changed, just my whole thing. And I just kept learning, kept reading, and, and just kept bettering myself, man. And always kept a smile, even when it, because this is what I love to do. So right. it wasn't like I was going to stop doing this or stop helping people because people quit on me or felt like this was not enough. Nah, this is me. Like, yo, this is me. I, I I say this as a joke, but I mean it like, I skip your funeral to work out, man. Word. That's how I, I promise Word. you. I know. I love fitness. Like, I listen, know it. Because it's what, it's it's for me. It's, it's like, you know what I mean? And I feel like that joy it gives me, hopefully it gives somebody else to just know, look, you can do anything. You know what I mean? If you can come in here and do something. Look, the odds of, or the atmosphere of, um, unbelievable heights or something that you've never done before or just uh, what we want to call it jumping out of the box jumping out okay like if you've never been under 135 you open that door to once you get under that 135 you just did something you never right. done before so right. now things that you never thought would happen for you start to happen because you opened up that type of realm you opened up that type of door now you're doing now you believe in yourself hold on I did 135 Oh, that deadlift is well. I can do that. And next, you know, when you go out there to do somebody, you think you get this presentation done by? Right. I can do that. And then you go do it. You know what I mean? And it's just, next thing you know, your life just start elevating by the time you keep doing more. So that's why I tell people like, if, if it if this is the thing that's hard for you, like, oh, I can't give up chips. Mm. Give up chips. Watch life give you something. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Sacrifice something. Yep. Give up that. Watch life give you something. You see what I'm saying? I always it, say it, it's, it's, it's that, yeah. everything you want is on the other side of what you don't yeah, want to do. Yeah, and as yeah, long as you do yeah. what you don't want to do, yeah. you'll get. Hey, bro, listen. You you gonna yeah. get what you want? I'm stubborn, man. Like, look, I be having people tell me stuff that I know is probably great for me, but I just be like, I ain't doing that. And then I think <laughs> about it, and I be like, well, let me try. Right. You know what I mean? Because it ain't so much that I. It ain't gonna hurt me not to do nothing right. like that. Just let me do it and see how it come out. And even if I don't like what's over there. What did I learn? You at least learned that you yeah, didn't like Yeah, yeah, I learned Instead something. Instead of just yeah, saying, oh, I, I didn't, not, yeah. oh, I'm not doing it. I try so to take away a good you, positive from right. whatever it is, too. Like, I remember we had to go walk the mountain. At first, I didn't want to do it, but I got out there, and then I see how short it was, and I had in my mind, like, you was worried about this. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. And I was like, man, I can come do this real quick now. I'm running this joint. So it was like not knowing, and I could have stayed in not went, but I'm glad I went, and I'm glad I conquered that because that's something I never done before. So to me, that was something that's in my mind. Like I've been to the top of that over something I didn't want to do. I can do this, man. So right. So you, so do you think that people have a limiting mindset of, mm -hmm. and that of limits, themselves? Yeah, that limits your life. The less you think. Listen, man. I don't. One thing I before we. Uh, I don't like. Don't talk bad about yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't crack jokes in light of being overweight or having something that you're addicted to and make light of it because if something has a hold of your life, you don't own your life. Right. You know what I mean? And I, and that's how I feel. So don't brag about it. Don't make fun of it. It don't be as serious. It's something that you need to change. So it's nothing that we make light of. You know, believe in yourself. Always speak positive about yourself, man. And, and tell yourself, I can do this. 
It's right. nothing to it. You know what I mean? You're about to do it. If you feel like, oh, I'm not going to walk today, I don't really feel like it, I promise you, go walk. It might be an idea that comes to you right. or something that you was thinking about that you never could figure out. When you take that walk, now you understand, oh, oh yeah, that's that idea. It frees you up. Yeah, it man. frees you up to allow your mind yeah. to work. Yep. Man, that's dope. You know what I mean? I, I just want to ask, as the final question, what, what 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 kind of game would you give the youth? Cause I mean, I, I know you. I know your background. When people see this, they know you. They gonna know. And to see like you, you made a one eighty. Yeah. You know what I mean? A complete one eighty. Yeah. And like you was cool. I they look. I knew you back then. I know you yeah. now. You was cool back then too. But it's different. It was now. it's different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, what kind of game would you give the kids? And like, what would you tell them going forward? There's no reward in mm. the streets. There's Absolutely no validation. Not. There's no way, there's nothing, there's no reward. Um, whatever it is that you're looking for, you can still get the girl. Um, you can still get the car. Um, you can still be respected. Um, and I say that to say there's no reward because there's no hood rewards for being the realest G. When you hear people, there's nothing for that. Right. Um, you know, and the cost of it, the cost of it to really be stamped, it's not it's worth it. It's not, too yeah, it's not worth it, man. Especially unless you're blessed to make it, make it out, man. Um, but I, I, my word to the youth is, man, got to learn how to love yourself if you're not getting it from home. You have to find love somewhere and that someone does love you. Um, like, that you can have the best. You're not limited to where you live at or... Right. Uh, or or the, the situation of your household because I feel that a lot of people that are it, you have all right me because I can go on this um, go ahead talk you got two directions of children mm -hmm. you got the children that are loved that are taught raised given hope um, inspired um, told they're beautiful told they're handsome told they're strong you have that you have the parents that are dialed into their kids future. And they want their kids to be the best, even if they're in home or out of home. Because mm -hmm. a phone call to your daughter or your son and encouraging it and speaking to their mind, and this is what daddy expects from you, mm -hmm. goes a long way. Um, then you have the kids that most of them I see, paying sack of in their manners, you can see it's lacking. That starts in the house. Absolutely. So it comes from the house. It comes from the lack of love, the lack of respect, the, um, the lack of inspiration, motivation, and don't get me wrong because these kids are special because it takes something to be able to go out here and manage to survive in the right, streets. Right. It takes a certain mindset. That, it takes a certain skill. At its highest level. It takes a certain reading, people. So you have all the things. You start to learn love because you find your little girlfriend. You got your homies that say they care for you. So you feel a little bit of it. Mm -hmm. It gets rubbed off. But I just... There's no reward. There's no great outcome. If you can come out of that, you learn things, but there's no need for you to have to go on that. You can still be successful doing doing the right thing, man, finding what it is that you want to do in life. I feel, I just feel it's on us. That's why when you say about the kids, it's on the parents Absolutely. to make sure that the kids are loved and loved on, man. It's hard to hate and hard to be evil and meek in a certain type of way when you got love just seeping out. You right. can't play, you know, right. like, you, can't you, know play. I mean? you, you can't be the tough yeah, guy. Yeah. And it's like, you know, your mom going to yeah, kiss you and yeah, wipe the little smudge yeah, off you know and your dad was like, good yeah. job. Don't good you job, punk, John. You, nah. you can know how to, you know what I mean? Don't mean you a punk, but man, it makes you, it's just, it's just having a fighting chance for the future, man. And I feel like kids from the streets, by the time some of them realize that they don't die, they missed all them opportunities. Right. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. They learned something that this other one doesn't have. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the work is the work. If you teach your kid, you got to work for it. You got to be creative. You got to create this. You got to do this. Because now you look at it now. We're in an age where now you got to teach your kids to be entrepreneurs. Right. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? For That's sure. The main. That's the main thing to teach your kids. What do you want to do? Not what job you want to go look for. Nah, you can you. still get the education. What do you want mm -hmm. to do? Because when you get people that know you can do what you want to do and still do what you got to do, but also do what you want to do. do you, yeah. if, you get, if you tell the kids that early, what do you want to do? You want to sell shirts? What do you want? And give them a business. Yes. You know what I mean? I give my yeah. thought, my kids, listen, seven to sell something in a heartbeat and draw something or come up with some type of 
business. Like, I, my kids write business plans yep. and they young. Like, you know what I mean? So I look at it like that is a head start because you already in that mindset and right. you're under the age of 10. Exactly. Like, so it, it's, um, that's the big thing, man. That it's up to us to save the future because they're going to be the ones taking care of us, man, and yep. be the ones around us, over top of us. You know Running what I mean? the country, like, yeah, everything. Everything. So I feel like can't be too naive and self-centered and focused not to understand that that is the thing in the household. Once you have them kids, your life is no longer your own. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so it's it's time to buckle in, man, and do what you got to do. But when your kids see you doing what you got to do for you, they're gonna respect it and know, like, you know, what I mean, this is mommy, how hard daddy, it goes. Yeah, or some yeah, different, like yeah, they yeah, they yeah. next level. Even if it's a separate home, when the parents, when the kids see both of their parents go hard, oh yeah, it makes you like you like I can't do nothing else but go hard. Go you know hard, yo. Yeah. Man, that's dope, man. I appreciate you for this interview. You. Yeah, you see my yes, flash the belt, show the show him the belt. Hold that joint up, oh, man. Like Let them know. Right here, yeah, you know the champ is here. This joint is dope. That man. is dope, man. That is super dope. I love everything about this, man. I, I do. I, I'm I'm grateful, man. I just thank God. I don't be wanting to sound like I need it now, where I need I need to be in the gym now. I feel when it all comes, man. I can have I can have six months of bliss. That has set me a lifetime. You know what I mean? So I truly believe that any moment is a moment that's well enough waited for. And I just think I, I see the dedication that you have to it. Yeah. And like the consistency is it's yeah, I appreciate it's, that. it's unwavering. Yeah, like it's yeah, every day, yeah. all, day. Yeah, all day. Like we we was just talking with a couple weeks ago, you was injured. Yeah. And I was like, yo, he's not going to stop training. And sure uh, enough, yeah, Monday there. morning, oh, he was man. back training. So, like, to me, if I'm a, 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 as an outsider looking in, yeah. I'm like, nah, I got to train with him, yo. Because yeah, no yeah, like, he's going in. Yeah. You know what I mean? He don't, it, it's, it's no, it's no weakness about yeah, it. It's like, yo, I'm I going in, like I'm about to go hard. Like can't give, when you give, uh, whoa, oh my. I mean, I might do that a little bit, but then I'll be like, man. Nah, I ain't gonna be down here like this too long. I got to, I got to be right. But now, be smart on what caused that. Cause some days I go macho, man, and I be like, nah, I overdid it. But it be too late. Right. You, know what I mean? you don't feel it till the next day. You be like, yeah, I overdid it. Right, right. But yeah, I love, I love everything about it, man. The injuries and everything, recovering from them, the whole process. I accept it all. You know it seems I mean? like it's a science experiment to you. Like you just every day, like. Let me fig figure yeah, out how I can figure yeah. out, you know what I mean? Yeah, something yeah, yeah. something that, crazy. That, that's my we, thing. That's we my come thing. in here, you be like, yo, yeah, I, we about to do this. this. Yeah, and he be yeah, like, well, I'm I, thinking, you be like, he be like, you be like, this is crazy. Be like, yeah. but I already did it, bro. So yeah, you good. Yeah, like, yeah, I already tried it. I'll be riding down the road. I'll be like, ooh, yup. I, I wake up in the middle of the night and be like, I got it. And like, because I'll be like, what are we going to do? And I stop thinking about it, storming it. And I just go by how it feels, like, and I'll be like, yeah, this is what we're going to do. Uh -huh. And we're going to do it. Especially when I know who's coming that next day. Like, yeah, we're going to set it off. You know what I mean? And if I just feel, listen, the better I feel, the worse it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I mean? When I know I'm in a groove and I'm feeling real good, like, Monday can set the, you know, and I love it. Monday can set the tone for the whole week, man. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, that's real rap. Yeah, man. I be I seeing can, it. You I set the run, tone yeah, with the Monday I, leg yeah, workouts, I, man. Yeah, yeah, that's tomorrow. It's going down tomorrow. I'm going to be in my tights. I be like, man. Yeah, I'm out here, man. I'm out here. So, tell the people how they can find you, where oh, they yeah, can follow yeah, you at, yeah. the website, um, your Instagram, everything. Um, everything is Bang Bang Fitness. Um, on Instagram, it is Bang Bang Fitness LLC. Um, Facebook, it is Bang Bang Fitness. That's the uh, fitness page. My regular page is open if you want to follow me. Um, it's Brent Bishop Bang Mosley. And then my website is bangbangfitness.net. You know what I mean? I got some stuff for sale. I got some more stuff. Follow. Sale. But yeah, I ain't going to tell you about that. But yeah, we out, we out here, man. We out here. My I man. appreciate this, man. Man, I appreciate you, bro. This yeah. is dope. I'm excited about it. See, I got clients to do everything. Yeah, you know, hey, look, man. We trying to get it in every which yeah, way man. possible. Yeah. And, and because yeah. I love and appreciate what you have yes. going on, and I love and appreciate you and just helping me just yeah. get even yeah. started in the right direction. Like you said, it's a mental thing. And once you get that mind and body connection, it's going to go. 
I'm still working on the, the mind body yeah, connection, yeah, but it's definitely it's a still great early thing. In the game. I tell people all the time it's still early. Right. It's still early. And two, it starts to click, it's still early. Yes. So don't pain it. It's and, still early. But I but the thing is I, I found that I actually yeah, do you like feel working yeah, out. Tell, you know what I mean? Like tell, yeah. I like the sweat, I like the aggressiveness of it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, bro, this is it's in me now. Yeah, but I'm man, trying to get yeah. it to a to your level yeah, yeah. where it's you know, where I'm going ham every day, yeah. but it's definitely been it's a life changing. It's a long road travel for me, man. So I it know wasn't overnight. That's why I tell people it's not overnight. I promise you it's not overnight. How long how long has a, a road has it been? Since two thousand and six. So yeah. 13, 14, 14 yeah. years, yeah. 2006. I, I like to say 2005, um, but I, I say, yeah, late 2005. I just went through a lot in 2005. Mm. Um, so it really, but 2006, I, I got back. I mean, I never stopped, but I claimed the real deal. Yo, it's funny, I claimed the real deal, but I didn't start seeing no results in my body until 2009. <laughs> Really? Yeah, man. So you was working out hard yeah, every day. It wasn't it wasn't the heavy. I was real cut. Like I was like a action figure, but right. it wasn't like in two thousand nine when I moved to Virginia and I it, I don't know what happened. I think it was the the lifestyle because I was no longer in Harrisburg under the conditions of what I was in. Right. I went to move to Virginia and my life changed. Um when I started going to church, I, I don't like saying found God because God always been around. But mm -hmm. started to recognize what uh, I needed in my life, um, and it was structure. Um, once I got that, man, I started putting on weight. I stopped smoking black and mouths, but I was still working. I was smoking blacks mm -hmm. a little bit, like one here or there, but I stopped that. And it, my weight just was like, you know, I was like, oh, I see, he's starting. <laughs> it was crazy. My trap started growing, and I became a killer. Right, right. You know what I mean? it, was, it was a wrap from there. So stop smoking black and miles and work yeah, out harder, yo. Nasty ass cigarettes. Yeah, stop. Definitely stop the damn cigarettes, man. Yeah. But that's how we gonna end this joint yeah, today, man. I think I this is it. dope. Yo, it's culture captivation. It's Bang Bang Fitness yep. LLC. Peace to the gang. I all wish right. you all the best, and we up out of here. All right. You know it. Peace. Peace. That was dope. I appreciate it. Yes, sir.